Well, as if you were, we thank God for the opportunity to come live to you, sharing the word, uh, the word of God, the word that he has given to us tonight. Na nina imani ya kwamba neno hili litakubariki, litakuwa msaada katika maisha yako. Na kwa kipindi hiki, ninataka tuangalie maneno ambao yatatusaidia katika ujenzi wa mioyo yetu it's a night of another encouragement and i do believe that god is lifting us is encouraging you is raising you to a higher level in the name of jesus christ and uh, today i want to talk about god will provide mungu atapeana na katika jia nyingi ambazo ama katika maneno mengi ambao tutasoma utagudua ya kwamba Mungu hupeana God gives he is a giver and i have taught about giving and said that God is not only a giver but he gives the best hallelujah he gave his only begotten son as a witness as a testimony of his ability to give and give the best kwa hivyo eh, usiku wa leo mahali uliko Ninataka kukutia moyo ya kwamba kuna Mungu mpaji ambaye yuko katika maisha yetu sisi ambao particularly tumeokoka tunamjua tunamfuata tunaweza kuwa na uhakika ya kwamba huyu Mungu ni mpaji na atatupea kila kitu ambacho tunahitaji katika jina la Yesu Kristo kwa hivyo mahali uliko nataka ujiandae nataka uweke moyo wako wazi you can share the video with somebody tell somebody that God is speaking somewhere and uh, it is good for us to hear the word of the Lord ambao ametupea praise the name of the Lord na uh, wakati nitasoma neno la Bwana katika kitabu cha Samueli wa kwanza praise the name of the Lord na katika Samueli wa kwanza eh, Biblia inasema ya kwamba Mungu alimtumia Sauli eh, Samueli kumpaka Saul mafuta and when Saul was ordained as the king of Israel praise the name of the lord uh, there are instructions that was given there are words that uh, Samuel spoke and these words are important because they are words that we can trust even to date every word of god is tested it's alive it is powerful hallelujah and every word of god carries power every word of god carries grace and wherever you are i want you to know this word is just as alive as it was the day it was spoken to saul and therefore whatever god spoke to saul can be taken in our account we can take the word of god to be true that word that was spoken at that time the way it worked it can work today because it is the word of god it never changes neno la bwana halibadiliki majira yanaweza geuka lakini neno haliwezi kubadilika kwa hivyo kile mungu alisema katika nyakati zilizopita ndivyo kilivyo hata siku ya leo blessed be the name of the lord aliyesema ya kwamba nitabariki watu Nitainua watu wangu, nitawajenga watu wangu. Ni Mungu yule yule hajabadilika. Hakuna lolote ambalo limegeuka katika utendakazi wake. Blessed be the name of the Lord. And therefore, you can stand on the word of God, you can trust on God, you can hope in God because the way he worked at other people uh, at other times, in other generations, he can work the same way today. He does not change. Hallelujah. And I told you yesterday for those who are there nikawaambia Baram nabii wa uongo alisema Mungu si mwanadamu akaweza kubadilika ambaye alisema alisema na hawezi geuka hawezi rudisha maneno na kwa hivyo hata sasa wakati tunapo eh, approach hili neno la Bwana ni vizuri ushike ya kwamba hivyo Mungu alivyosema katika vizazi hivyo vingine ndivyo alivyo hata leo hajabadilika na hata badilika blessed be the name of the lord and therefore i know that god will speak to you god will minister to you god will give you the word of encouragement and the empowerment that we are going to take today so the bible says in the book of first samuel chapter number uh, 10 and verse number 2 the bible says uh, let me read verse, verse verse 1b and this shall be the sign to you that the lord has anointed you to be prince over his people when you depart from me today you will meet two men by Rachel's tomb 
in the territory of Benjamin at Zelza, and they will say to you, the donkeys that you went to seek are found. And now your father has ceased to care about the donkeys and is anxious about you, saying, what shall I do about my son? Then you shall go on from there uh, uh, further and come to the oak of Tabor. These uh, three men going up to God at Bethel will meet you there and carrying three young, uh, 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 one carrying uh, uh, a young goat, three young goats rather, another carrying three, uh, three loaves of bread and another carrying a skin of wine. And they will greet you and give you two loaves of bread which you shall accept uh, from their hand. Amen. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Ukitazama katika hili neno, Bwana alibariki. Samueli aliambia Sauli, ukitoka hapa, hii ndio ishara ya kwamba Mungu yuko pamoja na wewe na amekuchagua kuwa mfalme wa watu wake. Na mimi naomba usiku wa leo, huyu Mungu ambaye hajawahi badilika, the God of signs, the God of wonders, the God who proves about his people, may he prove himself in your life in Jesus name. May he prove himself concerning your ministry, concerning your marriage, concerning your work, concerning your business. May he prove himself because he is God. Hallelujah. So neno linasema namna gani? Akamwambia ukitoka hapa, haya ndio matukio yatakayotokea. Na ninakuombea mtumishi wa Bwana mahali uliko, may you become a witness of what God will do. May signs and wonders accompany you in Jesus name. He is a God who provides. He is a God who gives. Praise the name of the Lord. So neno hili ambalo tunasoma akaambiwa utakutana na watu watakwambia sasa baba yako ameacha kushughulika juu ya punda anafikiria habari yako mwanangu ameenda wapi na mimi nataka kusema hivi kuna vitu viwili ambavyo Mungu atakupea kuna vitu viwili ambavyo Mungu ataleta katika maisha yenu Mungu ataleta katika maisha yako binafsi. Number one, God will bring you people who carry the information and the resources you require. Hallelujah. God will give you people. God will send people to you. People who carry the things, the information that you need. And I pray today, whoever is supposed to meet you, whoever is supposed to come your way, but is being hidden somewhere. Let them find the way to find you in the name of Jesus Christ. Let them find the ability, the position to come to you from wherever you are and to wherever you are in the name of Jesus Christ. I command now in the spiritual realm, let there be a realignment so that those who are supposed to come to you will be realigned in Jesus' name. Let them, let them find the way that comes your way in Jesus' name. Let the junctions meet by the grace of God. Hallelujah. Wacha watu wapate njia, mpatane na wao, watu ambao unahitaji katika maisha yako, katika jina la Kristo. Na wapendwa hili ni ombi ambalo ningetaka ujiombe katika maisha. Kuna wakati unaweza tembea kuna watu ulihitaji kukutana na wao lakini hampatani. Kuna watu mlistahili kuonana lakini hamuonani. Kuna watu ambao wana information ambao unastahili kupata lakini hampatani. Ninaomba usiku wa leo pataneni na wale ambao wanabeba habari unazozihitaji katika maisha yako katika Jesus Kristo. Is it in ministry? Find the people who carry who carry what you need, the information you need. Find the men May you meet the prophets who carry the word you require. May you meet the man of God who carry the word that you need in life in Jesus' name. May you find the people who carry the grace that you require in this life in Jesus' name. Kwa sababu kuna maeneo hawezi kuyafikia kwa sababu ya vile we ni mzuri, kwa vile umefanya mambo, unayafikia kwa sababu kuna mtu umepatana naye katika maisha. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Kuwa mahali ambapo nipo, nimekutana na watu wengi ambao walinisaidia kuanzia katika wokovu, kuanzia katika habari ya maisha, katika habari ya ndoa, katika habari ya kuwa mahali nimefika, kuna watu ambao walihusika katika mimi kufikia eneo ambalo nimefikia. Jina la Bwana libarikiwe. Kuna watu nilikutana nao 
ninaweza kukupea habari ninakumbuka mtu mmoja ambaye tulikutana naye na kuna kitabu alinipea na kitabu kile kikabadilisha maisha yangu blessed be the name of the lord kitabu kile kikageuza life yangu upside down it turned just a simple book ambayo ilibebwa na mtu aliyekuja mkutano mtu ambaye sikumjua haleluya lakini nilikuwa namhitaji kuna kiu kilikuwa katika moyo wangu and that thirst could not be satisfied by anything it needed god hallelujah but as i needed god i can tell you this it was impossible because i had no knowledge of god in the area that god wanted me to know him i had no idea how to seek god better but there came a man carrying a simple book and the man gave the book to me and it turned my life upside down i pray may you meet the people who carry what you need in jesus name hallelujah <coughs> nimesema ya kwamba utakutana na number one, people god will give you people god will send people na niwaambie hivi wapendwa nikwambie hivi mtu wa mungu kuna mtu ambaye anabeba kile unahitaji Hakita patikana kwa mchanga, hakita patikana binguni, hakita letwa na malaika, kinaye mtu ambaye anabeba kile unahitaji. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Fikiria habari hizi. Nimesema one, you need people who carry the information you need. Do you know you, there can be a good business opportunity? But there need requires a man who can give you the idea, sometimes who and who plugs you into the idea. Somebody who makes you think somebody who makes you see things in a different light hallelujah kuna wakati unahitaji hawa watu kuna wakati unahitaji mtu ambaye atakwambia mtu wa Mungu jia ni hii hapa ndipo unahitajika nataka kukuambia Sauli hakuwa anajijua yeye ni mfalme ni Samueli alimwambia Mungu amekuchagua na wewe naomba siku ya leo Samueli wako wapatikane katika jina la Yesu mtu wa Mungu ambaye anabeba unabii na ujumbe ambao unaweza kukuambia mahali uendako ambao unaweza kukupea direction receive it in the name of Jesus Christ may you find the people who take you where you are going people who have the information Take time to think about a person like Esther. Na Esther katika siku zake maandiko inasema ya kwamba kumetolewa decree Wayahudi watauawa. Esther is in the palace where the decree is issued and she is not even aware. Blessed be the name of the Lord. But there is Mordecai outside the palace who knows who has the information, who has heard the people crying. And Mordecai gives Esther the information and Esther takes the action that saves and delivers the Israelites that delivers the Jews may you receive your Mordecai today may you meet your Mordecai in this in, in this age in Jesus name may you come across Mordecai who shall give you the information that will take you where you are going that will help you to deliver yourself deliver your family deliver the church deliver the people of God in the mighty name of Jesus Christ we need the men hallelujah we need the people kuna watu tunahitaji wapendwa usiingiwe na roho nyingine ambayo imeingia watu ambao unasikia mtu akisema mimi sitasaidiwa na mtu mimi nitasaidiwa na Mungu Mungu wakati alikuwa anasaidia watu wakati mwingi alitumia watu try to imagine if Moses was to reject being brought up by Pharaoh's daughter what would have become of Moses he would have died blessed be the name of the Lord but Pharaoh's daughter came his way took him from the waters brought him up paying his mother his own mother to suckle him hallelujah may god send the people that you need the men and the women you need in life in jesus name kuna watu ambao wanabeba habari ambazo zitakusaidia kuna watu ambao on the other hand and this is the second thing that i wanted to say god will give you resources and there are people who carry the resources you need bwana yesu asifiwe unakumbuka elijah mtu wa Mungu alihitaji chakula na kililetwa na kunguru na mimi nataka kusema ya kwamba there are ravens that a god will send you away who carry what you require in the name of Jesus Christ i am feeling the flow of the spirit right now there is somebody that god is speaking to right now god will send you away the ravens that carry what you require the people who carry the things that you need for a good life in Jesus name fear not hallelujah 
you may be wondering how things will work out, how, I, how you will come out of the situation. But God will send the people and the people who carry the resources you require in Jesus' name. The ravens, they may come in the name of people. They may come to you. They may help you by the grace of God, by the goodness of the Lord. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus Christ. Remember, wakati kisima maji yalikauka kwa ule mto, mungu walimuambia enda zarefag kwa ule mjane. Nimeandaa mjane atakupea chakula. Na nakuambia hivi, mjane alimpea chakula kwa miaka mitatu. Mtu wa mungu wakala na kunywa. Na mjane naye akasaidika kwa sababu ya yule mtu wa mungu kuingia katika nyumba yake. Si mungu wa kutumie watu ambao watabeba kile unaitaji katika jina la yesu. Na wapendu watu wache madharau. Watu wengine ambao watakusaidia. Hawakai na sura ya kukusaidia. Watu wengine wanaobeba kile unaitaji. Hawana sura ya kile ambacho unatafuta. Because God does not work with the people that you think. God does not work and operate the way you think. He operates in his own way. In his own way. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Mungu wanafanya kazi na jia za kiajabu. Mungu wanafanya kazi na jia za kipeke. Na ninaomba dakika hii. Si ukutane na huyu mungu. Ambaye huwaleta na kukonekte watu. I decree connections in the name of the Lord. I decree the meeting of paths in the name of the Lord. May you cross the paths of your destiny helpers in the name of the Lord. Your destiny connect connectors and the destiny connections. May they begin to flow and fall into place in the name of the Lord. I speak to you now by the word of God. Yeyote amba unahitaji. Yeyote amba ana information. Yeyote amba ana resources. Ambazo unahitaji. Si mpatane nae katika jina la Christo. And I decree now by the word of God as a man of God. Whoever concerns you. Whoever carries information. Or anything that pertains to you. Or anything that you need in life. I command them. Hear the word of the Lord. And begin to gather and begin to be aligned to my listener in the name of Jesus Christ. You who is supposed to pick up a phone and call, I command you now by the word of God, call in the name of Jesus Christ. You who needs to move estates so that you can meet this man of God, so that you can get into that house, so that you can get into this uh, relationship, so that you can get into this office, I command you now, come in the name of the Lord. Get into place in the name of the Lord. Get into place in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. I declare, kuna watu ambao wamefungiwa na shetani wasifike mahali uliko. Kuna watu ambao wanabeba vitu, lakini wamejipata wakizuilika. Lakini leo kama mtu wa mungu na neno ambalo nimepewa, na wafungulia jia, na wapate na fasi ya kufika kwako katika jina la Yesu Kristo. Si upatane na yule mtu ambaye anabeba ushuhuda ule ambao unahitaji. Si upatane na yule mtu, si atoke kule yuko. I command even now those who are in the east, those who are in the west, those who are in the north and those who are in the south. I command you converge to the people that require you, to the people that need you in Jesus mighty name. Converge from where you are. Watu ambao hata mlienda katika mataifa mengine na munahitajika na huyu mtu wa mungu. Those who are needed in that nation. Those who are needed in that county. Those who are needed in that city. Those who are needed in that village. I command you, whatever brings you there, come in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Come in the name of the Lord. Gather in the name of Jesus Christ. Gather in the name of Jesus Christ. Gather to these people who need you. Gather to this man and woman who requires you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Na chochote ambacho kime kuzuilia, na tangaza kikaanze kuondoka katika jina la Yesu. Watu ambao wana kuhitaji, na tangaza wata kuona, wata kufikia katika jina la Yesu. Na kate nzambazo zimewekwa between us and the people we require, between us and the resources we require. I command right now, let the curtains be torn into pieces. Let the curtains be broken in the name of the Lord. And I declare, let our eyes see and let our ears hear about these people and about the resources we need in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Kumbuka Elisha alikuwa na pita. Second Kings chapter number 4. Alikuwa na pita pale shunemu. Akienda huku, akienda kule. Lakini mtu wa uh, mama mmoja, mama mshunemu, hatu ambiwi yata jina lake. Haka muona, haka sema huu ni mtu wa mungu. Anaitaji msaada. Natangaza hivi. Siuwe uncovered. 
si wanao stahili kukutambua wakutambue si wanao stahili kukuona wakuone katika jina la Yesu si wale ambao wanahitaji kujua you exist let them know you in the name of the lord Oh makata baga bashola bakatela lama I speak right now may your name be carried in the mouths even the mouths of enemies who will talk about you may your name be carried even in the mouths of babes let somebody hear about your name in the name of the Lord let somebody know you exist let somebody know that you are there and you are waiting in the presence of God in Jesus name Hallelujah. May your voice be heard. Wale mnabeba nyimbo za kiungu, nyimbo za utukufu, si sauti yenu isikike, sikuwe na watu ambao watawatambua katika jina la Yesu. Wale ambao sisi ni wahubiri, si Mungu atusaidie, wanao stahili kusikia ma, mahubiri yetu, si wanao stahili kutujua, si wanao stahili kujua huduma ambao tumepewa, si uwapate katika jina la Yesu, si wakupate katika jina la Yesu, si wakusikie katika jina la Yesu, si jina lako libebwe katika jina la Yesu. Haleluya. I thank God for the numerous times I had people say that God directed me to come to this ministry. God spoke to me to come to the church. I was praying in the spirit and God talk, uh, showed me your photo. God, God showed me the picture of the church. God showed me the sanctuary. I thank God when I hear these testimonies because they tell you sometimes it takes God for people to meet you. And I raise right now, anybody that you require, get them in the name of the Lord. Those who need a revelation like Cornelius, Acts chapter 10, let them receive a revelation, revelation about you in the name of the Lord, revelation about your business in the name of the Lord. Oh, I thank you Jehovah God. Let your people find the others that are necessary, the people they require in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Munakumbuka Musa akipotea jangwani, akizunguka zunguka, akakuta kichaka kinachomeka. Eh, akizunguka tu yeye ni mchungaji wa kodoo me signs that will prove you and will bring you where you require may they speak to you may the signs be visible may the people hear of you may the people talk about you in the name of the lord may your name be mentioned in the high places may your name be mentioned in the high tables in the name of the lord if it takes confusion for somebody to come your way let confusion begin there where they are that they may feel uncomfortable and begin to move and let them come your way in jesus name natangaza pia wanao stahili kubeba resources wacha waje katika jina la yesu wanao stahili kubeba vitu ambazo unahitaji wacha waanze kushuka wacha waanze kutoka katika maeneo yao wacha waanze kuja kwako katika jina la Yesu na wasiache mifuko yao wasiache mikate wasiache mwana kondoo wasiache divei furaha yako na ikamilike katika jina la Yesu Kristo kuna watu ambao Mungu anaenda kufichua Mungu anaenda kulete katika jina la Yesu Mungu anaenda kulete katika jina la Yesu Mungu anaenda kulete katika jina la Yesu na wafike katika jina la Yesu na neema ya Bwana ikufikie uonekane ujulikane usikike ueleweke utambulike katika jina la Yesu na wale ambao mmefichwa natangaza tokeni nyuma kule mmefichwa njooni mbele letweni mbele katika jina la Yesu wale ambao umesahaulika kichakani kama Daudi na omba ya kwamba pasi mwagwe mafuta kama haujafika maana ni season yako katika jina la Yesu Kristo I declare the beginning of new seasons in the name of the Lord I declare the beginning of new seasons in the name of Jesus the seasons of God the season that to bring you where you are the season that to bring you where you are required let them begin in the name of jesus christ god bless you each and every person that is watching each and every person that is commenting each and every person that is commenting about what god is doing in your life and what god is about to do in your life god bless you may he increase you may he cause you to rise in the name of the lord and fear not my friend my brother kwa maana mungu ambaye anasema Season imefika wengine mfichuliwe natangaza ya kwamba kama nabii aliyepewa neno na Bwana wakati wako wa kufichuka ni sasa funuliwa katika jina la Yesu vile Daudi alifunuliwa awe mfalme vile Sauli alifunuliwa awe mfalme vile Elisha alifunuliwa awe nabii na wewe funuliwa katika jina la Yesu 
kutolewa the coverings ambazo zimekufunika wale wote wameweka kivuli katika maisha yako ili usionekane kivuli kile na kikatike na kiondoke katika jina la Yesu Hallelujah and I pray right now may you be released from the chains ambazo zimekuweka nyuma ya wengine minyororo ambao imekuzuilia kupanda minyororo ambao imekuzuilia kuenea minyororo ambao imekuzuilia kupanuka na kufika mahali unahitajika iande kukatika katika jina la Yesu neno la Mungu liwe katika maisha yako sauti ya Bwana iwe katika maisha yako neno lile ambalo Mungu amekuwekea liwe katika wokovu wako liwe katika jia yako katika jina la Yesu Kristo na natangaza hivi katika jina la Yesu wote ambao majira yao yamefika Bwana wa toe nje wafikishe mahali wataonekana wafikishe mahali watajulikana wale ambao majira yao yamefika waonekane bwana mungu natangaza kwamba wa kuanzia dakika hii wataonekana katika jina la Yesu bwana mungu naomba ya kwamba mfalme wa wafalme utawabariki utawapanua mipaka yao utaiongeza katika jina la Yesu Kristo father i declare each and every person that stands on the way of a man of god of a woman of god hindering his 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 vis- visibility i command right now let them depart in jesus name whoever is standing against a man of god whoever is standing against a woman of god whoever is trying to overshadow whoever whoever is trying to cast a spell again is the man of god yeyote ambaye anajaribu kuwatenganisha yeyote ambaye anajaribu kuwathuru yeyote ambaye anajaribu kuwa kuwafunikia wasije wakajulikana natangaza leo ya kwamba hili limevunjika na sauti ya bwana ambao amenipea natangaza onekana katika jina la kristo be visible in jesus name be visible at home be visible among your family be visible in business be visible where you work be visible for those who, who, who are supposed to be lifted for those who are supposed to rise for those who are supposed to be promoted i command be visible in jesus name be visible to those who need to touch be visible to those who need to do to act be visible to those who need to do something about your life in Jesus name be visible to people who are looking for you be visible to people who are looking for somebody like you be visible to those who are longing for you be visible to those who are lasting for the word you carry man of god woman of god be visible to those who carry the power that you you have in the name of the lord be visible go to the people May there be connections. May people take you to places. Those who are supposed to go outside this country and preach the word, I command right now, the connections that are supposed to come, let them come in Jesus name. Be uncovered in the name of the Lord. Whoever is carrying your name and is supposed to talk about you to somebody, I command you, speak it out in Jesus name. Speak this name in Jesus name. Speak this name in Jesus name. Talk about this person in Jesus name. I speak about the turn around, the turn around in Jesus name. Ambaye anapaswa kukuintroduce, natangaza kuintroduce raka tena mako, makera ganda ramake, parama shola makatalaba, rokane keta rama shalaba. You remember Joseph wakati ambapo alikuwa amesahaulika jera miaka miwili. Lakini kuna mtu alibeba jina lake hata kama hakuwa anajua the season hakuwa anajua ni lini atalitaja lile jina lakini wakati ulifika jina la Joseph likatajwa akainuliwa akawa mtu wa heshima nami natangaza leo kila mtu ambaye anabeba jina lako na anapaswa kulipitisha anatangaza siku ya leo alitangaze kwa watu alinene kwa watu anayebeba maneno ambayo yanapaswa kukuuza kama product ya Mungu kama product ambayo inaweza fanya kazi kama product ambayo inastahili kufanya mambo ninatangaza leo let them speak of you let them talk about you let them say it in the name of the Lord let them tell the others about you in Jesus name repa katarama shelalama na yeyote ambaye atasikia jina lako Alipende katika jina la Yesu may your name become like a perfume that will be smelling nicely so that whoever hears of you we will say i desire this person i want to meet this person that is the word of god for you tonight 
and I speak it to you in Jesus' name. Let them begin to smell you from far. Let them feel it, a fragrance, a great smell that requires to be tested. And I speak it right now from wherever, from that, those quarters. Let your name be mentioned in Jesus' name. Let the sweet smell of your name be heard from other people. Na wale ambao, majina yenu yaliharibiwa, na matendo, na mambo ya watu, na maneno watu waliyasema, na tangaza siku ya leo, maneno yale yaliyosemwa yakaleta ya kawa kama harufu mbaya, ya kawa kama kitu ambacho wakipendezi, jina lako likawa jina ambalo limetupwa nyuma, na tangaza ile harufu mbaya ya kishetani, ikaondolewe juu ya maisha yako. The order that comes from the demonic world, from people who spoke ill about you, from people who spoke against you, I command right now, let it be broken and let it be taken away in Jesus' name. Let your name be that fragrance that everybody desires in Jesus' name. Let your name be that fragrance which everybody will talk about in Jesus' name. Re katala makasela labo, shala makatala bazande. Ministry ambazo zimekataliwa kwa sababu kuna watu walinena ubaya. Madhabahu ambazo zimekataliwa kwa sababu kuna maneno ya linenwa. Natangaza siku ya leo. Maneno yale ni meaondoa katika anga kama nabi. Na natangaza siku ya leo. Upate jina lako. Huduma ipate jina lake. Kanisa lipate jina lake. Madhabahu ya pate jina lake katika jina la yesu. Wale ambao ministry zenu zimetupwa. Zilinenewa, zilifanyiwa ibada za uganga ili huduma zenu zikataliwe ili watu wasijiunge na wewe ili watu wasikufuate na tangaza siku ya leo kwa neno la Bwana uganga ule na uchawi every device that was orchestrated by the devil let it be broken from off your life i prophesy be likable in the name of the lord be acceptable to people be somebody compelling to people let the word of God in you bubble with the power, it with the grace in the name of the Lord. Na yeyote ambali kuwa, ametupa jina lako kwa viombo ili alifiche kule. Majina ya kawekwa kwa manyungu, mengine ya kachomwa kama makaratasi, ili usionekane, ili usifuatwe. Na tangaza kutoka leo, jina lako it is redeemed because of the blood of the Lamb of God. And any blood that was shed, and any offering that was given, that your name be destroyed, that your name be hidden. I command right now, let the spell break in the name of the Lord. Return to your position. Return to your place, man of God. Return to your place, woman of God. May you be known. May you be heard. May you be felt. May you be desirable. May people talk about your name in the name of Jesus Christ. I bless you by the power of God. I bless you by the grace of God. And I declare, mtu yeyote ambaya nakuja kwako, na ambaya nasahiri kubeba resources, mtu yeyote ambaya napaswa kuja kwako, na anamikate yako, na na maji yako na na divei yako na na nyama zako ninatangaza azibebe katika jina la Yesu and from today i release the grace of receiving in the name of the lord the grace of receiving in the name of the lord may you be given in abundance may you be given above abundance in the name of the lord may you be given above every request above every desire that you have. May you be given the resources to do the work that you're supposed to do. May you be given resources for the ministry that you are doing. Hallelujah. In the name of the Lord. Makarabakate. Masomu ambao ya melaniwa. Ili ya sije ya kafanikisha. Ninatangaza. Vieti vienu vifunguliwe. Vipate kazi katika jina la Yesu. Ninatangaza. Opportunities za kazi zipatikane. Wengine natangaza kutoka siku ya leo. Upatikane. Ueleweke. Kazi ile unatafuta na ipatikane katika jina la Yesu Nyumba ile unastahili kuajiriwa ndani yake ione katika jina la Yesu Kristo. Biashara hiyo ambayo inastahili kufunguka ione katika jina la Yesu. Mahali unaitwa itika katika jina la Yesu. Jina lako nalijulikane. Makaratasi yako naifanye kazi. Certificate zako nazifanye kazi katika jina la Yesu. I declare by the word of God you will receive from God. He makes available. He makes possible and I declare so shall it be from this hour in Jesus' name. It shall be possible. It shall be possible 
for you to receive more than you require, more than you are looking for in Jesus' name. I want to bless you tonight as I pray for you and I declare whatever prayer request you have, you can inbox me. You can send it as a text message. You can send it. I'll pray for you. I believe in God who works wonders. Mungu aliye pea wengine atakupea. Mungu aliye peana fedha atapeana kwako. Mungu aliye peana maji atapeana maji kwako. Aliye peana chakula atapeana. Aliye peana watu Aliye peana mabibi atakupea. Aliye peana waume atakupea katika jina Yesu Kristo. Aliye peana washirika kwingine. Aliye inua makanisa madhabahu. Aliye peana majina ya wengine yakawa majina matamu ambao haiwezi atakataliwa. Natangaza hivyo hivyo na iwe juu yako katika jina Yesu Kristo. Na ujulikane na usikike na uheshimike na upewe kila kitu unahitaji. Wagonjwa pokeeni uponyaje. Wengine magonjwa ambayo yamejificha yalikataa kutokea. Natangaza kutoka leo ya yaeleweke yajulikane na yapone katika jina la Kristo wengine kutaneni na watu ambao watawaeleza kile mnahitaji watakuambia mahali unapaswa kwenda watakuambia kule unahitajika katika jina la Kristo i declare this is the word of god upon your life this is the word of god in your life and i want to pray for you in jesus name father i stretch my hands by faith towards your people and decree by the word of god as these hands point to them let them receive of the grace of God the grace that you have released by your word you are a giver the way you spoke to Saul that he shall meet the people who carry his destiny destiny if, if, if connections my god his destiny helps my father i speak it now let it be so upon your people the destiny help us find them in jesus name jia zianze kuwaleta pamoja bwana watoke katika mashimo watoke katika manyumba wafike mahali ambapo wanahitajika bwana wengi ne tuma wale wanaobeba msaada hata walio katika nchi za kigeni warete katika jina la Yesu warejeshe katika jina la Yesu wakutanishe katika jina la Yesu wanaobeba resources na achilia zote zianze kumwagika katika maisha yao bwana natangaza every Mordecai meet Esther every Saul meet Samuel every David meet Samuel in the name of the Lord i speak that every Moses will find this place in a pharaoh's palace for the time that is required in the name of the lord i speak that every elijah will meet the the, the the widow in the name of the lord every elisha will meet the woman from shunem who is able to help and who will do what is supposed to be done i declare so shall it be upon your people na yeyote bwana mbana tafuta baraka isikosekane katika jina la yesu baraka zao zifike neema yako ifike ushindi wa kufike katika jina la Yesu na wachilia baraka uponyaji uzima na neema na Bwana Mungu wa mbinguni kila mwenye kuhitaji opening ya kazi opening ya ndoa opening ya maisha katika hali yoyote ilete katika jina la Yesu for you are God who is a giver and you give the best according to your word father you who did not spare your son but gave him what else can you not give to us if you give your only son you can give anything to us with your son Father we bless you we receive our blessings we receive our miracles we receive signs and wonders and they shall come to pass in our lives as it happened with the soul when he left he found everything as the man of god had indicated and so shall it be upon us that god we shall receive each and everything that is given to us we shall meet the people who carry them and they shall release it without questions our god father we thank you and we honor you bless your people increase them lift them and continue to do good to them in jesus name we pray and we do believe amen god bless you so much and i want to say may the same god who did it to other people do it upon you in jesus name i declare that by the grace of god you shall increase you shall rise and you shall become great thank you men of god i have seen many of you watching this program may god bless you may god bless you pastor george Pastor Eliphas, Pastor Jo uh, Joy, uh, Pastor Ann, God bless you so much and many more Pastor Mwenda, the Lord bless you and continue to increase you. I love you and we shall continue with the word of God as the grace of God continues. I want to say 
He is our giver and he shall give unto you. I have no reason to doubt because I've seen God do it. God will bring connections. And from today, prepare yourself for the connection. Prepare, wait for the calls. They will come. Wait for the people who will mention your name somewhere. Wait for people who will carry your name somewhere. Wait for somebody who will say, bring your papers. I have an opening somewhere. For this is the doing of the Lord and this God is in house today. And he is doing it. I love you. I bless you in the name of the Lord. Bye-bye. The Lord bless you. If you have any information that you'd like to share, you have a prayer request, you can inbox or send as a text at 0719-727770. And even if you also want to support us, you can do it through the same number, 0719-727770. The Lord bless you and continue to do you good. Shalom. We will see you tomorrow. Amen.